Welcome back, everyone. Well, the gauntlet has been thrown down. The challenge laid. Who's up for it? Time to find out. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. And this one is officially underway with the puck dropped. Quick pass to Leno with the stop. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. He's looking for a dance partner. Yeah, he looks like he wants somebody, anybody to, to engage with. Moves into the slot. Stick save. Clearing attempt. Tucson's gained possession along the boards. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Great pass from off the right side. Oh, and that backfires. Yeah, he tried the bounce pass to himself. Didn't work. Back to the point it goes. Slides the puck down low. Puts it on net. Comes up with the stop. Nice job tying up his opponent. Here they come on the attack. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Sent into the far corner. That's a big yeah. time hit on the wall. It is James. I love the way he used the angle. He took away all the ice. Toronto's got the puck. And they fail to go take to take. Here's a short pass to Spartacat. It's a two-on-one. All alone. Score! Great finish. Little short break, and it's in the net. Tucson's got the position that every coach... Nice calling him out. Did he ever? This is this is going to get heated. Scored by number 93. The Senators carry it along the wall. Hammers one from the point. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Looks to pass it to Spartacat. Here's a chance. A two-on-one. Slides it across. Scores! Oh, that was a beauty. They barely fished the puck out after the last one. Two goals. 70 seconds. Wow, insane how quick that was. Bang, bang. Yeah, the defending team just couldn't put a snake in the ground. They couldn't stop them. Well, he's calling them out now. Quick feed to Wang. Niedermeyer's done everything here except pull the other guy's gloves off. Kid's gonna cover it up for a face-off. While his team's ahead, he wants to make sure the pace of the game stays at the level they like. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Tucson's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. The Coyotes will play it in their own end. Sends the pass over. Sends it down low. Solid check to slow him down. Handles the puck at the point. Oh, he'll feel that one later on, but what a block. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Past the halfway mark of this period, Tucson's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Wang's one possession. The Coyotes grab possession to the puck. Panarin's going to play it against the half wall. Scores! They are on fire! Yeah, and it's all different sources, too. Score a goal, make a change, get another one. Nothing seems to slow them down. Tucson's been the better team here in this first period, and as a result, they've got a big lead. Taken by Perry. Moves it quickly over to Wang. And now it's grabbed by Panarin. Moves inside. Wide of the net. He's got to do something a little better than that. Just can't finish it from there. Wonder if that gives him a nightmare later. No one home on that play. That pass doesn't go. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. The Senators move it ahead. 
Pass stolen in the open ice. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Got him. Crunches him into the boards. He used the boards as an anchor. There's nowhere to go, and he delivered that hit crisply. Moves the puck. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. Sends it across the ice. All great read on the play. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Not able to connect. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. The Coyotes take possession in the neutral zone. Tucson's got it along the wall. The Coyotes get a hold of the puck along the boards. He scores! Make that four straight! They seem stunned, like they cannot stem the tide. The four straight goals have been just a dominating stretch of play. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Moves it to Wang. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Picked up along the wall by Niedermeyer. Toronto's regained possession of the puck. What a stop! Yeah, that's a race to the post. The goalie wins it there, gets the pad flat to make the save. Race for the puck here. Icing waved off on the play. Denied by the goaltender. We got a penalty coming up here as the officials blow the play dead. Piper's getting two for tripping. Pretty easy call for the referee to make as you're fishing around for the puck. He's focused in on the play and when the player goes down, his hand will go up. Man advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. Well, there's the horn. 20 minutes in the books. I think one team's still trying to figure out what happened. Both teams had a chance to recharge, and the officials set to drop the puck here on period number two. The Senators win the draw and get their penalty killing unit off to a good start. Puck clears the zone. Quick feed to LeBlanc. Denies him on the slot. Tucson's been the more aggressive team offensively. Look at the shot clock and just look at the score. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Panarin's got it in the offensive zone. Let's it go! He scores on the power play! Taking advantage of the extra man. Move the puck well and get on the board. Tucson's performance has to have their coach smiling down the bench. Ray, what are you seeing? I guess he smiled a little bit. Coaches never relax, but how could he not be pleased with this? They're running a shutout, and they're running up the score at the other end. And they can't convert to the play! The Coyotes have it against the wall. Panarin's taking it from his own end. Handles the pass at center. Toronto's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Works it across to Leno. Slides the puck across to Wang. Quick pass to Spartacat. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Let's it go from the slot. Off the crossbar. There's the whistle as the puck heads out of play. Lots of time left in this period. Tucson's putting on one of their most impressive offensive displays we've seen in a while. Here's a chance right in the slot. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Goes right to the crease. It's in the back of the net. He scores!
extend the lead here in the second. Everything they do is better than the other team tonight. This is a domination performance. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Scored by number 21. The Coyotes have it in the offensive zone. Moves it over to Wang. Strong defensive effort. Get rest! on the play. Here's a short pass to Wang. And the puck skips away after a nice defensive deflection. Answered the call on that play. Kids had a good seat for most of this offensive explosion. They're winning by a pile, and he hasn't had much to do. There's the whistle icing the call. Tucson's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. Steps in and takes the puck. Toronto's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Tucson's got the puck in their own end. Cuts to the paint. Denies him in front. Shoes got it along the boards. Nothing doing on that. Play whistle dead because of an offside. The Coyotes are checking all the boxes tonight. More shots, more goals, and they lead in the second. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Nice pass. Panarin's been all over the place. It's like there's two of them on the ice. He's already got three points. The centermen glide into position. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Quick feed to Leno. Comes up with the steal. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. Takes the feed. Let's it go. And that one stopped. Feeds it down low. Passes right to the front. Makes the save. Has dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Good use of the body on the play. The Coyotes take possession in the defensive end. In all alone on the breakaway! And it kind of falls apart. I thought he was clean in, and then you're right, it falls apart. He gets nothing for that. Takes control of the puck. Here's a pass down low. Turn that chance aside. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. John LOL's on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Tucson's had the better scoring opportunities, and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that's the hat trick! Listen to this place! And here come the hats. I love this tradition, although I will tell you, they collect the hats up, they used to give them to us, and you're like, what am I going to do? I'm not wearing somebody else's hat. <laughs> Tucson's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. Here's the pass on the doorstep. Can't connect. Puck scooped up by Niedermeyer. Now he slides it up to Spartacat. Couldn't complete the play. Rocks him. It's a 2 on 0 Oh, you're not going to get many chances better than this. It's you and the goaltender. Can't connect. Sends it ahead to Panarin. Here he is in the open ice. On the breakaway. Nothing doing. That plan didn't work. Tucson's ready to go on the attack. Whoa. Puts it in for the hat trick. You got to finish him off. The chances are there, but you still got to put him away. It's a great play, and now we can celebrate his three-goal night. Now, would you ever wear one of those chapeaux? Not a chance. Would you wear someone else's hat? <laughs> Absolutely not. Takes the feed. Stones him in front. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Nice zone entry from the middle. Maintains possession. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. Save made by the goalie. Really? Here's a chance, a 2 on 0 Off the outside of the iron, and we'll play on. Toronto's shot hits the goal post, doesn't go in, and if they're ever going to get back in this, James, they're going to need a couple of bounces. Tucson's been an impressive club to watch tonight, especially offensively, as they lead big here late in the second. Pokes 
it away to stay on the attack. There's the horn ending period number two. I'm not sure they wanted it to end. They're ready to drop the puck on period number three. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabolski. Let's do this. Here we go. Third period set to get underway. Simply too much to not enough at this point. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? The Coyotes have been terrific for 40 minutes. Now a comfortable lead that they'll just try to ease their way into the finish line. Sends a pass over. Moves it to Perry. Offside is the call. It will have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Tucson's offense has been a thing to watch tonight as they lead it big time here early in the third. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Huge steal in his own end. From center, they get into the attacking area. And he comes up with it. Whoa. He scores! That's two! Earlier in the game, he was able to score. I thought he's kept his energy up, but now has worked hard enough to get himself into position for another one. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. The Coyotes scoop it up along the boards. Rocked on the play. James, he is going to feel terrible tomorrow. He's been hit so many times tonight. Couldn't connect on that pass. Puts it on net with the stop. Yeah, he got a little testy once the whistle blown. He's pushing him out of there. Tucson's turned good defense into good offense as they lead it early in this third period. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And he coughs it up with the pass. Takes a shot and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Angles it over to Leno. Uses the force on that hit. Scoops up the puck now. Great cross ice pass. They've got the defense outnumbered. The Coyotes gain possession along the wall. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Takes the puck at the point. Sparta Cats hauled down. Penalty on the way. Here's the official call. Piper's going to the box for tripping. Always a little careless to get a tripping penalty. You get your stick into the player's feet, and when he goes down, you're going to go to the box. The power play unit goes right back to work. At the morning skate today, they were really working on the power play quite extensively. The power play coach has to be satisfied with how they've looked tonight. Denies him! He got off! Tucson's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Out front, and they can't connect. And now he angles it across to Niedermeyer. Made the stop on the play. They're still shoving long after the whistle's gone here. Somebody wants to go. Tucson's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. And here's the pass to Wang. That's taken away. Great defensive effort there. Into the corner. Puts it to the front of the net. Knocked away. Picked up along the boards by Niedermeyer. Moves it quickly over to Panarin. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Great burst of speed to come up with it. Here's an offensive chance. Denied that one. Shot. I don't believe the coaches are going to be too worried about this. They didn't score on the power play, but I think it's most important that they didn't give anything up. They've got such a nice lead. The coaches are more focused on Get making wrecked. sure this game plays out comfortably. Look out, a two-on-one. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. 
From point blank. Stopped by the goaltender. There's another stop. Nice work in there after the first stop. He's got to find the puck to save the second. Here they are on the attack. On the stick. Stars. You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Toronto's ready to go on the attack. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Perfect timing to get on the board. Man, they would have liked this a long time ago, James. They've been working away trying to punch through. They finally get one by the goaltender. Toronto's back at center ice. They have a long way to go still here, though, Ray. Yeah, get your scores out there, James. Don't worry about the defensive end of the ice. You need goals. The Senators grab possession to the puck. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. And a penalty coming up as the official blows the play dead. The Coyotes are going to be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. They're going to be down a man here. Once he gets his stick into the player's feet, it's almost inevitable a tripping penalty will result. Tough to argue that call. They move the puck out of harm's way. Passed up ahead. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. And that pass goes awry. Puck grabbed by Niedermeyer. Over the net. Handles it along the blue line. Stick save. Just got a piece of it with that one. Offside the call. And we'll have a face off just outside the blue line. The Coyotes are going to want to bring this big lead home late in the third. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Quick pass to Leno. There's the whistle. Offside is the call, stopping the play. That puck's got to be moved a little quicker there, James, as they're moving up to the blue line. Get it out of your hands so nobody goes offside. Puck is dropped, and play resumes. Both sides back to even strength. Couldn't catch up to that pass. All a good power play is about 20%, James. That one falls in the other 80%. They don't get it done. The power play expires. Tucson's got control of it now from their own end. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Tries to feed it over to Spartacat. Skates to the crease. He scores! There's the hat trick in here. Man, it is loud in here. The guys jumped up on the bench as soon as that third goal went into the net. Tucson's all too aware there's no mercy rule in hockey. They continue to apply the pressure. No, they're laying a beating on these guys now. It may be time to lay back just a bit. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. The Coyotes are getting two minutes for tripping. I always found this a frustrating penalty to take. There's really no aggression to it. You're trying to steal the puck, but you end up clipping the guy down. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Whiffs on that. Keeps hold of the puck. And the final seconds ticking away here in regulation. Niedermeyer's got it along the wing. Tucson's got the puck along the boards. From the blue line, they take control of it. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Trying to shake loose. Break away. Great stop by the goaltender. Positioning and quickness. That's the day right there. Tucson's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead a big time late in this third period. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. The Senators ready to go on the attack. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Drives to the sweet Whoa. spot. Back of the net. They score. I like the way they use that manpower advantage to their advantage. They move the puck quickly. The penalty killers just couldn't catch up. Tucson's not far from the finish line here as they lead it late in this third. The Coyotes win the faceoff. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. There's the whistle stopping the play with an offside. This is when you want run time. 
Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Wang's won the draw here in the neutral zone. Driving right to the front. He scores! What a goal! Again, these guys' arms are going to get tired. Two goals in ten seconds. That sure changes things here on the ice. Yeah, the game has completely been turned upside down. Toronto's won it. The Coyotes pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Right in the slot, and that one's broken up. Great block there. And the puck sails out of play, and we'll get a face-off while one lucky fan gets a memory of a lifetime. Final horn sounds bringing this one to a close. Well, you always enjoyed a good challenge. What do you make of this one? Well, if you're going to lay it down, you better be able to back it up. And they did that. That's a solid game for them.